Hello, Teacher K is here again. How was your day? Did you have a good day? That's good to hear. Well, mine was great. Hmm, before we start our class today, I want you to try to think. Let's say five? Oh, no, ten. Let's say ten years from now. What do you think you will be doing? Or how are you after ten years? Okay. Let's make a complete sentence for your answer. You can say, I will be in a university. I will be in a university. Okay, I will be in a university. There you go. Okay. So, hmm. Teacher K, what will I be doing after 10 years? Hmm. I think I would still be teaching. <laughs> All right. I ask you that question because we are going to talk about something about the future. That's right. We will be talking about things to come. Now, before we start, let's make the page a little bigger so we can read it together, okay? Uh, there we go. Okay. Now, I want you to read with me, okay? Speeding toward tomorrow. The Hyperloop 1 test was a big step in creating the Hyperloop. But it was only the beginning. Many other systems will need to be developed in order to build a working Hyperloop. The company must find some way of lifting the pods above their track. This will increase speed. A low-pressure tube is also needed for the pods to reach high speeds. Hyperloop 1 has yet to show either of these elements, but it had promised a demonstration by the end of this year. It's not clear whether the Hyperloop is technologically possible, but even if it is, it will face many challenges. Possible government involvement and rules will be a problem. So will money. A hyperloop route from San Francisco, California to Los Angeles, California could cost $6 billion to build. Some experts say even the estimate is too low. The executives at Hyperloop One says its test shows that it will be the first company to construct a successful Hyperloop. Now, do you know what is a Hyperloop? No idea? Okay, try to look at the picture. Now, I want you to go on and imagine what do you think is a Hyperloop based on this picture? Do you think it will be a building? Do you think it will be a car? Do you think it will be a train? Okay, well you have different ideas, right? Well, a hyperloop is actually like a road. That's right. It's going to be um, a jet or let's say a bullet train that will go into different tunnels going from one place to another. So, people are imagining that the, um, the future with fast cars, with, um, with bigger technologies. So, creating a hyperloop is actually one of the steps to make things better. Okay, now, it says here that it will have different problems. Okay, looking at the picture... If you understand what we are reading, what are the examples of the problems that it will face? Very good. Government problems. This line here. Possible government involvement and rules will be a problem. Good job. Now, that's one. Government problems. Okay, give me another one. Money. Very good. Now, why do you think money would be a problem? 
Okay, because it will cost a lot. Okay. When we say a lot, we can use the word expensive. Okay, let me write that down on your chat window. Expensive means cost a lot of money. Okay, instead of saying it will cost a lot, you can use the word it will be expensive. Right? That sounds better. It's cooler. Okay. Well, do you think it's possible to create a hyperloop in America that will travel from one state going to another state? Try to imagine it. You don't need to ride a plane. You don't need to ride cars or buses. But you're going to have like a bullet train. It will be cool, right? Mm, very good. Okay, you can say there is a bullet train in Japan. Okay, a hyperloop is better than a bullet train. Let's say this is the bullet train. The hyperloop's level would be a little bit higher because it will be faster. That's why they're trying to develop it to make the speed better. Now, the word speed here talks about how fast or how slow they are. Okay? So, if example, you want to say it's very fast. If you want to use the word speed, you can say the speed of the car is fast. The speed of the car is fast. There you go. Or if it's slow, the speed of the car is slow. Okay, very good. All right. Well, the future is still way ahead. Maybe we can say there's a lot of things that will that will turn into something better or there are a lot of improvements that will happen. But one thing is for sure, we need to work hard to have a better future, right? Okay. Well, since it's almost time, do you have any other questions for me? Okay. Well, remember, a hyperloop is still being developed. Maybe after 5 or 10 years, we will see it running. Or we might be able to ride one, right? Okay. Well, see you again on the next class. And let's think about a good future, okay? Bye!